to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Blessed be your name. Express yourself in the spirit. God is here. You came for him. This is part of the meeting. This is how we do it here. Go ahead and sing in the spirit. of the living God we thank you in the midst of his people. This is called koinonia. An encounter with an ability that is beyond the realm of men. No matter how hardened you are, of God is that one factor 
that must be present in any meeting for people to be changed. Pastor Jakes powerfully shared here that it's not enough to be instructed in righteousness. There must be an ability to receive it. He said, the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet. The spirit entered. Until it enters, you will be pretending it. The spirit entered. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Oh, holy, holy, blessed is he. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Just take two or three minutes to pray in tongues before we sit down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please greet somebody by your left and right and sit down if you can. We call this koinonia. Simply koinonia. The place of his presence. God is in the midst of for ye are come unto Mount Zion. That mount where there are innumerable companies of angels, the spirits of just men made perfect to the church of the firstborn. Where he has chosen to leave us with the charisma of his presence. Adonai, Lamb of God, truly you are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, Lord of lords. Tonight, let your kingdom reign in our hearts. Adonai, 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 yeah. Adonai. Adonai, 
of God. Truly you are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, you're the Lord of lords. Let your kingdom reign. a special number. Let your kingdom come. Yeah. Let your kingdom come. This is our prayer. When his kingdom comes in your life, you will never be the same. Let his kingdom come upon that sick body. Let your kingdom come. First Thessalonians. There are angels moving around, just bringing impartations in people as we do. Mighty impartations of fire. This is what I see happening in the spirit. Your presence. Hallelujah. See, listen. No matter what you have, if you do not have his presence, you have nothing. I don't care what you have. That ultimate secret is his presence. You can fake power. You can fake anointing. But you cannot fake the presence of the mighty one. like him he's the lion and the lamb he's seated on the throne see this is not a special number mountains bow down every ocean roll to the Lord of Lord. just listen to me I'm ministering to your spirit who is this God? He's the lion and the lamb seated on the throne. The Bible says the mountains keep like lambs in his presence. Mountains bow down. Every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. That is the one we serve. Mighty. It's great and mighty. Full of majesty. And he brought you here to change your life. He brought you to do something in your life. That no power in existence can stop. It is within his ability to create the change. Hallelujah. Listen. Many of you do not know. See, this is the ninth month and God is birthing a lot of things. It was in this month I began to talk about the miracle service from the first week. For as soon as Zion travails, she will put forth a son. 
all of the teachings that we have been building upon sharing the secrets of the kingdom to prepare us for the things that the Holy Ghost is doing I place a upon the fountain of the spirit. Let there be a breaking and opening of spiritual. I'm calling you higher, say the Spirit of God. I'm calling you climb up that mountain, say the Spirit of God. Climb up that mountain where your eyes will see clearer. Climb up that mountain. Climb up that mountain. Feast upon the secrets of the Spirit. Feast upon the secrets of the Spirit, said the Lord. Feast upon the secrets of the Spirit. There is a path that no fowl knoweth. The whelps of the lion has not gotten there. Majestic is his presence. Hallelujah. First Thessalonians 2 verse 8. First Thessalonians 2. I'm sorry, not it. Wherefore, we would have come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, I would have come to you. It is my desire for you to experience my presence he said but satan hindered us wherefore that blessing would have come to you wherefore that healing that breakthrough would have come to you he said i desire but satan hindered us tonight is a prayer meeting we will pray wherefore I would have brought the breakthrough for the family. Wherefore, I would have opened you up to certain realms of grace and power. He said, but Satan, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, that genotype would have changed by now. Wherefore, that act of witchcraft and divination over families and territories would have been addressed. He said, but Satan hindered us. Let me tell you something. The kingdom of God is hidden in laws and mysteries. And all through scriptures, 
you will find the operation of the kingdom hidden in stories, experiences, parables. They are a revelation of the patterns, the workings of the kingdom. It takes illumination. It's called the spirit of revelation. And then your eyes are open to see beyond the story. And then you begin to see the construction, the build up, the character, and the operation of the kingdom. And when you understand it, you have those keys. Then you will command power in this territory. And this is what we seek to transfer. An understanding of the operation of the kingdom. Week after week, this is our project. To unveil unto you the secrets of the kingdom. Because when you find it, then you will be able to operate in mastery. In the last one or two months, we have been unveiling a lot of things. Opening you up to the spiritual dimension of life. All of the teachings have been a build up upon one and another. To open you up to the spiritual dimension. The Bible says they know not. Neither do they understand. They grope in darkness. Confusion. And as a result the earth is out of course. Have I not said ye are gods. And all of you are children of the most high. He said but you shall die like men men. And fall like one of these princes. And the remedy is an unveiling. This is why we value the presence of the Holy Spirit so much. The body of Christ knows a lot. They know a lot of Bible stories. But insight into the truth to understand the operation of the kingdom is what is deficient. It says, my son, pay attention to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from out of thy heart. Keep them in the midst of the heart. He said, they are life to those who find them. Health to their flesh. It will take your understanding of spiritual things. It is understanding that will reduce Satan to become nothing in your life. Hallelujah. Wherefore we would have come to you. So there are many things that desire to come into your life. Breakthrough. Blessings. Increase. He said, but what happened? Satan hindered us. Satan hindered us. Hindered the blessing. Hindered the lifting. Hindered your insight, access into the deep things of the spirit. But Satan hindered us. Hallelujah. And tonight we have come to call the devil a liar. We have come to open up the two lead gates. That you will step into certain things that have aforetime been given. Please take note of what is happening tonight. There are healings already happening. I am seeing it in the spirit. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying. This night we will be confronting the gates of darkness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Tonight we will pursue. We will overtake. And we will recover all. Many people have taught all kinds of junk messages. Look at me. Wickedness is real. Don't let anybody fool you with any sugar-coated message. The Bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness. Hallelujah. Why do you need the power of the Holy Ghost? Because there are giants on every mountain. And the Bible says how all inspiring are your ways. It says through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. Psalm 66 verse 3. Wherefore by now you would have been lifted. By now your family would have risen to a level. You would have stepped into another dimension. But Satan hindered us. Wherefore you would have been walking 
in mighty levels of grace by now. Your destiny help us have desire to come to you. But Satan hindered them. Wherefore, your life partner would have come into your life. You would have been happily married with dignity and honor. But Satan hindered them. Wherefore, that job, that opening. But Satan hindered us. This is Paul the Apostle speaking. I desire to come to you. I know the things I carry. And I know that if I meet you, you will never be the same. So Satan hindered us. Wherefore, you would have been coming to, for koinonia years ago. But Satan hindered you. Wherefore, your loved ones would have been here tonight. With all your efforts to bring them. But Satan. I need you to know that Satan is determined to frustrate your Christian experience. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Satan is determined. He will use every spiritual arsenal within his control to see that he frustrates your spiritual life. Therefore, it will take understanding of the operations of the kingdom to triumph over him. He said, unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Oh my God. He said, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed and let not my enemies triumph over me. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. Tonight, he's restoring everything. In obedience to Christ. Satan has hindered a lot of people. Listen. We have been explaining these things. Right from the teaching. Give me this mountain. That every time you arrive at that mountain. There are giants. Hear me. There are forces of darkness. Stationed across the earth. To ensure. That men do not rise. Zechariah chapter 1. This is a month of breakthrough. Something must happen in your life. I know that somebody believes this word. There are many who will sit down there and keep being cynical and watch others testify. Said they heard the word like we did, but the word did not profit them because it was not mixed with faith. Zechariah 1 from verse 17 down. cry yet saying thus said the lord of hosts my city's true prosperity shall be spread abroad and the lord shall yet comfort zion the moment he it speaks about breakthrough what happens next verse can you give us from amplified is it possible please amplified then i lifted up my eyes and behold four horns Immediately he told the prophet, this is your prophetic destiny. This is what should happen to you. He said, now lift up your eyes and see what has been hindering you. He said, I lifted up my eyes and I beheld four horns. Amplified says, symbols of strength. Next verse. And I said unto the angel who talked with me, what are these? I've not been taught in church that there are horns that can lift people. They have deceived me that you just confess and enter your destiny. This is strange. I have not been taught. What are these? Many of, of you have been deceived that all it takes is just to laugh and you just jump in and enter your destiny. All it takes is to just pack five naira and put an envelope and come and drop it. Or that they pour a little dot of oil. Let me tell you the truth. There is more to the operation of the kingdom than this. He said, what are these? It is strange. I've not been taught. I've no, I wasn't given this insight. That after a promise, there is a contention in the spirit to bring its deliverance. Most people just stop in verse 17. He said, now that I've told you your prophetic destiny, lift your eyes. Let's tackle the resistance. What is this that you see? 
if it's raining let them come in please come in sit anywhere on the ground on the altar anywhere just find a place and sit down tonight is a serious meeting and we're going to pray listen and he answered me he said these are what the four horns of powers which have scattered judas rob men of their praise rob men of their testimony judah means praise praise is an effect of a testimony the well-doing of the lord please come in come in everybody sit down anywhere come and sit here wherever you can find just sit down there are spaces all around ushers please help them i need everybody's attention are you following me now he said they have scattered what judah israel and jerusalem hallelujah tonight we will pray oh, that devil that is holding your destiny see no matter how mad a man is he does not enter fire by mistake is that true no matter how mad he is he can do stupid things and they say he's a madman but when he sees fire the bible says he make it his angel spirits and his ministers flames look up every promise in the bible requires contentions in the spirit for you to actualize it he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy that has been released to you there are more seats stand anywhere no devil will stop you this night so let hope rise darkness trembles in your holy light sing it one more time yeah. let hope let it rise hallelujah verse 20 please follow me tonight it says then the lord showed me what four smiths or workmen one for each enemy of the horn he showed me four carpenters he said now i've shown you the horn there are certain people i am going to send to you he calls them carpenters this is your promise this is your destiny between you and your destiny there are four horns and the job of those horns is to scatter your life scatter your finances scatter your anointing scatter your prayer life he said but I sent four carpenters one for each horn he said to beat it down 21 then said i what are these horns or smith so satan sends his horn see let me tell you something go to verse 19 he said these are four horns and four powers their job is to wreck your destiny are you listening to me they are they are patient these are spirit entities scattered around the face of the earth and every time they see anything that looks like growth and progress in your family they are the ones they watch to see when your sister gets pregnant their job is to scatter he said to scatter judah judah is the place of praise israel is the place of promise 21 then said i what are these horns coming to do he says and he said these are the horns of powers that scattered judah so that what no man will lift his head there are forces hear me koinonia there are forces of darkness positioned by the powers of darkness he said wherefore i desire to come to you but satan hindered us so that no man will lift up his head they are scattered around our villages they are scattered around ministries 
so that certain ministries cannot lift up their heads so that certain destinies cannot lift up their heads that's the job every time anyone in your family is about to rise they contend in your academics in your finance the moment you begin to pray after one week your prayer life dies the horns the moment you have faith and say lord i trust you after three days something pushes you down are you following me now you enter a relationship two weeks something just happens and scatters everything who are these he said these are four horns they have been stationed and every time they see you lifting your head their job is to bring you down it's in your bible it says so that no man will lift up his head many ministries do not know the powers of darkness that try to tie them down are you listening to me the moment a ministry starts blossoming the men of god are carried away with money and prosperity and increase administrations they forget that there are four horns let the lord just declare a prophecy over your life and you will see these horns rise the moment they declared this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased all hell broke loose he said i desire to give you prosperity I desire to give you increase but there are four horns there are four horns there are many families represented here what you are seeing in your dreams and visions and what is happening in your life is different between that dream and the manifestation are four horns they are gates are you following me tonight I came to preach my heart because we are going to pray four horns you go you go and apply for a job they are ready to respond to you three days later something comes up without any explanation see hear me believers if you don't take charge of your destiny and apply the keys of the kingdom you may remain forever and you will not lift up your hands thank you for lifting Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. 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 My head. There are many ministers who struggle and struggle. They preach, they suffer, they go and do a lot of publicity. People come and get healed and go. They don't, these are four horns. The moment they pay your father's salary, everybody in the family starts becoming mysteriously sick without explanation until that one night I finish. You marry a man who was loving and caring, suddenly he becomes a Dracula. Four horns. Tonight, we have come under an apostolic and prophetic atmosphere to confront the gates of darkness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me tell you, Satan can bow. Are you hearing me? Satan can bow. You must get angry in your spirit. Don't just sit and watching others. Forget about what is happening and concentrate. There's no space. Sit around. Find somewhere and sit. Tonight when it's time to pray. I don't want to see you looking at me. Pack your wig. Pack your wivon. Keep it one side. We are going to pray this night. Hallelujah. He said but these smiths or workmen. Have come to what? There are men that have been anointed to terrorize this horn. Are you saying that word? He said, see, he said, but these smiths, these carpenters have come to terrorize the horn. He didn't say, it's not just to defeat them, to terrorize them. There are people Satan is afraid of. See, Pastor Jakes made a statement. Look at me. 
Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. There is this error in the body. There are two errors. One is the error of saying, see, everybody, I have the same access to God. Are you hearing me? I have the same access to God. There is nothing there. No man of God is special and this. Or the one that men of God make themselves semi-gods. Both are wrong. But let me tell you something clearly this night. Not every human being is a human being. The anointing has changed some people. The Bible says there are many bodies. Some are terrestrial. Some are celestial. They may look like you. The ability to recognize that difference is what will take you out of certain things. Are you hearing me? We are equal in Christ. But we are not equal in call and office and anointing. You must realize this. The Bible says there are some people that have been anointed to terrorize them and cause them to be panic stricken. Look at the horns that are terrorizing others. But the Bible says God calls some people and say, you, I just call you, come and become a terrorist. It's an election of grace. It's in your Bible. This is not error. It's not because they pray more. It is an office. an office to terrorize the works of darkness see let me tell you this night whatever power hear me i'm speaking under the unction of the lord whatever power that is responsible for holding any area of your life except god is not the god of heaven it must give up on you this night i said it must give up on you this night i don't care I speak under a prophetic and apostolic unction as one of these privileged carpenters. If I be sent of God, I speak to you. Every horn that is responsible for terrorizing your life, it will bow this night. He said, but I have sent carpenters. They are around, scattered over the earth. The only problem is that we have not trained our spirits to recognize them. Jesus went to certain cities, they saw him until he ascended to heaven. And they said, is this the man that has been among us? See, let me tell you, one of the greatest revelations you have in this life is that some people have been called. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Is called an election of grace. I didn't call myself. See, let me tell you something. When the Lord showed me the vision for ministry, hear me. I was standing in a tower and I saw an endless sea of people very oppressed people messed up by satan it was a whole generation of people and i saw them crying and while they came close i was hearing the sounds of their cry and they were blaming me in the vision and i said what is wrong and they said there is no food and no water suddenly it occurred to me that i was holding in my hands the keys to the storehouse that will feed that generation this is a vision i had listen to me please hallelujah and when that happened i told them who is the cause who is the reason why you are the way you are and they said you are the one suddenly compassion fell on me and i said i'm going to come out right now i i got to that tower i was trying to hide from somebody that was when i looked through the mirror and i saw that thing it was fear and timidity that made me to run like gideon to go and hide in the vision but the people were telling me that we are dying here and you are the one who is holding the keys to the storehouse they said no food and no water these two things hallelujah and i was determined that i was going to go out the moment i opened the door because i was afraid that i was alone when i opened the door there was a giant person 
that stood and he said hold my hands we will go together he's called the holy spirit this is the whole idea behind the things we do with the holy spirit people have criticized that we are emphasizing the see let me tell you every great vision comes under fire and criticism because people do not understand the bible says they know not i'm taking time to explain to you this call there are people who have been called as carpenters you may die in a place without recognizing because you see everybody and you think they are celestial or they are terrestrial there are some people that certain graces have elected them hallelujah in one other vision i was in a whole city and i found out that all the hospitals and the clinics were closed and i was crying because there were people that were sick i said what is all this what is going on here and i had a voice he said go and heal them that was the end so when people hear that hiv positive is changing to negative or when people hear that genotypes are changing rather than finding out they keep criticizing and castigating we don't announce any miracle here without verification he said but these smiths or these workmen have been sent to terrorize these horns that's why their lives are not normal they are not normal human beings they don't live like normal human beings hallelujah many of you do not know the burden of carrying a prophetic agenda for a generation it will change you i don't have a social life i have lost many things that many people have you do not know what it means to come under the influence of a divine mandate i see a lot of people jumping and smiling I'm apostle, I'm prophet. I want to open ministry and I say, oh dear. Day and night you are under fire of all sorts. But he that endures to the end. Hallelujah. He said to cast out the horns or powers of the nations who have lifted their horn against the land of judah to scatter it there are horns brothers and sisters that are responsible for the way your father behaves for the way your mother behaves for the way your loved ones behave you have tried counseling you have tried psychology it didn't work they are called horns but the bible says my head has thou exalted like the horn of a unicorn and you have anointed me with fresh oil hallelujah let's look at one more scripture first corinthians 6 verse 9 are you there what did i say 16 i'm sorry 16 verse 9 let's read together it's projected one to read one to read it again for a great door and effectual is open up to me and there are many a great door is open the door of marriage has been opened the door of healing has been opened. He said, but there are how many? But the Bible says, I have said before you an open door. He said, no man can shut it. And there are carpenters that have been sent to enforce that thing. Do you know what? Let me tell you something. We are not the only carpenters. You are here because you are one of those carpenters too. This is our mission. Our mission is not to become great men of God, but to make you a terrorist in the kingdom of darkness. See, it is not everyone, hear me, that is afraid of Satan. Are you hearing me? 
it's not everyone that is afraid of death. It's not everyone that is afraid of sickness. Some people have seen how cheap Satan is and he's aware. Hallelujah. That knowledge comes to an understanding of the operation of the principles of the kingdom. Hallelujah. There are many people who do not know. Listen, I want to tell you something. If you do not know the laws that govern the kingdom, it can be costly. Are you hearing me? Longevity is not a mistake. Longevity is not a product of going to church. There are kingdom principles that bring forth longevity. Divine health is not a mistake. Divine health is not a product of the anointing. Divine health is from the body of Jesus. Are you hearing me? Anointing comes to get away the demon spirits that are responsible for bringing that. He said by his stripes. He didn't say by the oil. We have misapplied a lot of spiritual laws. Authority against witches and wizards is not the issue of uh -uh. there are kingdom principles and this is what we seek to share. Greatness does not happen by magic. Many of you are asking, why is the devil disturbing me? Are you still asking that question? When Satan followed Jesus to the wilderness, was patient for one month and ten days until Jesus finished fasting. What makes you think that the devil will just look at you and say, oh, I understand you are anointed. But it takes the power of the Holy Spirit to look at the devil eyeball to eyeball and say, I am one of those carpenters. <laughs> Hallelujah. There are some of you who don't sleep. When you close your eyes, you are oppressed. I was one of those people. The Bible says, a man of honor who does not know will die like a beast in the field. Tonight we have come to call the devil a liar. I've come to speak to you that there is an authority. There are seven things that redemption brings unto men. All of them must be at work in your life. The Bible says, worthy is the lamb to receive blessings, riches, honor. These are all the things he has received and he has given you. Seven. And it must be at work in your life. Hallelujah. Who are these horns? Who are these horns that have stood against little children? Who are these horns? You are aware of the testimony of the man who came here and who was healed. I think during one of the services or thereabout. He was sleeping in the night. Somebody appeared to him in a dream. Remember the story? with big syringe injected this man with HIV virus and he woke up physically with the virus that devil is a liar come on now years ago I used to pray for barren people and they were not healed they didn't give birth it disturbed me and I went back I said Lord what, what is it then the Lord told me barrenness is not sickness it's an oppression it doesn't require healing there is a spirit. The spirits come and they create what we call fibroid. Fibroid is the baby of these spirits in the womb of people. That's why women have miscarriages in the night. Why don't they have miscarriages in the daytime? But you are carpenters. See? I look forward to testimonies where will he, somebody will say ah I heal the sick and I raise the dead not Pastor Jakes did this uh -uh. you be the carpenters you are not falling down for nothing you are not falling down to prove we are anointed God is in a serious business of working on you say I'm one of the carpenters say it I'm one of the carpenters yes financial carpenters apostolic carpenters one of my life's goal 
is to break the back of poverty in the church. It's one of it. I hate the effect of poverty on many families. More ladies have entered prostitution. They didn't come to meet you. How much do you have? Many people have been messed up. There are some of you now. You want to marry. But you cannot get married. Because of the finance. And some of you are hoping that one day. I will get a job of 10,000 and then I will get married. Calculate it by your do you to judge. But when those that God has sent to bless you, they can come in one day. He said your gates shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. Do you believe this? You are going to get angry this night. This night we are going to pray. I'm just sharing with you scriptures. The Bible says Daniel in chapter 10. Remember how that Daniel was praying and fasting. Wanting to get an understanding. And the Bible says the moment is there from the very first day. Daniel 10. You start reading from verse 5 down to 11 verse 1. When he was coming, the Bible says the prince of Persia withstood the angel 20 and one day. The prince of Persia withstood him. Hallelujah. The prince of Persia withstood him. Until he kept praying. The moment that embargo was lifted, the angel said, now I am come to give thee understanding. One of the chief princes came to help. Tonight there is divine backing of the angelic. As we pray, there will be things happening in the realm of the spirit. Yokes of darkness that will be broken. This is pre-miracle service. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, to break every chain. To break every chain. chain. That's what God will do tonight. To break every chain. To break every chain. To break every chain. Sing it one more time. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. I've shared it here. Before we start Koinonia, listen, I realize that there is a secret to increase and growth. And I knew that there were powers over territory that kept ministries down. I've shared this again. From the roundabout of Chiki Republic, I started walking there till aviation, commanding the forces to bow commanding principalities and power and then the city opens up before i go for a ministration in any city i speak to the principalities they know my voice see let me teach you something there are principalities there are powers there are rulers there are spiritual wickedness in heavenly places these are different strata of of darkness but the Bible says you have been exalted above thrones, dominions, and every name that is named.
both in this realm, this world, and in the world to come. So you command them to bow. Hallelujah. As our prayer department begins to pray, they speak over the week and an open heavens. And you are there in your house. You don't even know what carries you from your house. You are still complaining and insulting us, yet you are coming because the heavens are open. There's an army rising up. You are that prophetic army. There's an army rising up. I tell you, you are that army. There's an army rising up. Tonight, every one of you is going to represent not just yourself, but even your families. Hear me? Your families have been praying for a savior. Say, we can't die like this. And God said, come for koinonia. You, you, let God find a carpenter. Hallelujah. I just came, today I just came, I've been at home. I needed to go and visit the house. As soon as I stepped in, in the night, that night as I slept, in a dream, the Lord showed me everything that was wrong. And I got up the next day while they were sleeping. Hallelujah. I got anointing oil, poured it inside water, and carried the bucket. I took my bare foot and I was walking around. And I was commanding the forces in that territory to bow. I said, an ambassador is in town. This is what we are teaching you. Hallelujah. An ambassador is in town. I went and looked at my mother's poultry. I said, I command increase. See, if you know the office that you stand in in Christ, you will not take it for granted. The Bible says, as I hear you say before my ears, so will I do. Realize you are not ordinary. You are not the one looking for help. And if there is any need for help, we will grant you the help here by the grace of God and empower you to go back. When you see things that are not working, rejoice because you are here. You carry the backing of heaven. Your job is to legislate. Your job is to legislate. The Bible says he confirmed the words of his messengers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. An ambassador. You must realize this. So that you don't just stand at home. Or in your offices. Everything that is going wrong. Start blaming yourself. And say now. Everybody is lamenting. If there is nobody. I am an ambassador. Say it. I am an ambassador an ambassador. This is why God is bringing you and you are going to pray. As you pray first for yourself and then through the fire of the Holy Ghost you will dislodge powers over your life and then you will see testimonies rolling in. Suddenly you will find out that certain insights you have been struggling to get. Suddenly there is an open heaven. Your ministry or your fellowship takes another level as if Satan does not exist. Hallelujah. Nobody ever came to Jesus Christ. Hear me. After he went 40 days and 40 nights, Satan came to withstand him because Jesus wanted to come to the people like Paul, but Satan withstood him. When he defeated Satan, suddenly on the mountain, people started coming. Along the water side, people said, what happened? Powers were dislodged. This night, hear me, you are not praying for healing. You are confronting the gates of darkness. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Rise up on your feet. Listen. 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 I want you to know that heaven is backing you tonight. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Say, heaven is backing me. Say, it. heaven is backing me. Because we are going to pray now. And by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
I tell you, there will be an eruption of testimonies. After this night's meeting, you will know that the things that have been happening around your life and your family, they are not as ordinary as they look. You are the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. Take your place. number one hallelujah you are going to pray and say in the name of Jesus I confront gates that are stopping the finances the finances grace that are making your family members not to be titers grace that are making them not to be givers lift your voice Financial Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please hold on. This prayer must be serious this night. Please let's have two of our school of ministry students, two prayer band. Benga, come. Kenny, come. Go on one of the mic. Our school of ministry students, where are you? Are you not? Tolu, come. Quickly, two, three. Well, you, it's okay. You push, go and share the mic. Stand behind. When I say pray, if you are not praying, you will go back to your seat. You are not out for jamboree. We are going to pray. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Four horns. There are four prayer points we have. The Bible says they were sent to form. This finance thing, you are going to pray it. Lift your voice and pray.
The Bible says there is no man, hear me, that will enter into a man's life and, and spoil the good except he first find the strong man. He said, and I will give you the keys of it. Hallelujah. Hear me. Many of us will be surprised what will happen this night. Prayer point number two. You are going to declare and say, Satan, the Bible says, through the greatness of thy power, right now, I command those forces, bow. Lift your voice and pray. Bow. Bow. Principalities, bow. Hallelujah. 
Aruze goto parite. Jemi. Jemi. Ruza kata ya kata kata. Listen. Siba kata ya kato. Are you still praying? The Bible says, when you catch a thief, listen please. When a thief steals your property and you catch that thief, he won't bring back what he stole. He said he will restore sevenfold. This is what the Bible says. Sevenfold. You are going to pray. See, listen. The Lord is showing me, I am in a vision right now. He's and the Lord is showing me angels Baranda. holding baskets. Hear me? Yes. But the baskets are empty. Listen. Say good. Please follow me. <laughs> there is a prophetic atmosphere here. There are empty baskets. And I'm wondering, and the Lord is ministering to me. He's saying this basket will be full of the blessings that are due God's people. See? See? Hear me? He said, and I will restore. Hear me? Canker worms can eat years of people's life. So you are growing older, but nothing is happening. But this night, hey, I don't know about you, but I came to Koinonia. I'm placing a demand. Everything you know, Satan took. I'd like you to call it back and say, Restore. Minister, something Rest to me. We are still praying on the third point. Rest the Lord said Rest we should call back opportunities Rest that were either missed or wasted. Rest are you hearing me? There are some of you, some circles came into your life. Rest either by carelessness, it passed. Let me tell you, Rest it's up. only in this realm that you count time. In the realm of the spirit, you can call time back. Hear me. I don't care what opportunity you missed. Restore. Whether it was an opportunity for marriage, Restore. for job, Restore. right now, I want you to call back Restore. that opportunity. It will come back. Yes. Yes. Let's go, 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 let's go
Satan is until you engage in prayer. Satan will keep opening his eyes until you pray. When you pray, the devil will shrink and you see how powerless he is. Hallelujah. Now, one last prayer point. We'll add one more. You are going to confront the gates over your family. See, don't let anybody fool you that there are no gates. Let me tell you something. Some of you are the last card that God has to use over your family. If you don't do anything about it, don't think God brought you here just to waste your time. Listen. See me. Listen, listen. If you truly love your family members, effectual prayer is not just by shouting. It is the seriousness. Put your heart in this prayer. Many of you, as you pray, you will begin to see vision. See, hear me. Listen, let me tell you something. Listen, listen. I, see, we don't kill people in this place. But let me tell you, God is a God of mercy, but he's a God of judgment. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are certain horns. We don't care who these horns are. Unfortunately, sometimes... As this power is taking some human beings become victims we don't kill people but whatever it will take for the glory of your family to rise you will pray it is that lift your voice
I will not let you go. And the Bible says, when he touched his thigh, he said, What is your name? He said, Jacob, which means a cheat and a supplanter. He said, You are called Israel, for as a prince, you have fought with God and prevailed. And the Bible says, He says, And the sun rose, and he called that place Peniel. Hallelujah. I've told you as much, hear me. I've told you as much as possible. Please invite your loved ones for the miracle service. You don't hear me talk like this. We are only responding to the things that the Holy Spirit, if they refuse, no problem. For God will do a work in this place. Hallelujah. We'll take one more prayer point. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for this ministry. Hear me. I'm like a pregnant woman right now. Because I know when we step into seasons. God has his way. In the last three to four months. That's why you find out that you don't find me outside. I have been praying and preparing birthing new and mighty things in the spirit we are stepping into a dimension see for when you are faithful with what God gives you he said he measured a thousand cubits and it was to the ankle and when he saw that you were faithful he measured a thousand cubits many of you are already sensing that there are newer levels of grace you can see that the unction upon the house is not what it used to be this is ushering season for when God wants to bless you he will first increase the anointing then enlarge your sphere of influence you have taken all the glory you have taken all the praise you have taken all dominion you have taken all the praise you have made hallelujah you love this ministry I'd like you in the next few minutes to pray your life out listen you're going to pray for the ministers see the way ministers are falling around like leaves immorality all kinds of things I've said it any man can fall from any height are you hearing what I'm saying and if you love us pray for us pray for us we are going to pray for this ministry. We are going to say, Lord, let a dimension of grace, hear me, hear the prayer point, and fire spread from this place and around this nation. God is already doing great things through our teachings. I cannot describe to you what is happening around. The media can tell you best the mighty and terrible things that God is doing. Some of you have gone back and you have become mighty agents of change. Even you, you are surprised at yourself. This is what we are training you to become. And hear me, when you are praying for the ministry, you are praying for yourself. The ministry is not Joshua Selman. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You're going to say, Lord, together, as a family, nobody will rise and leave another. Are you hearing me? There will not be a few men of God rising, growing in grace. Hear me? There are certain things God has given us as a ministry. Number one is the presence of God. Number two is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The love of God. God has given us influence. God has given us prosperity. We are going to pray that the strongholds that attempt to raise their heads. Listen. 
there will never come a time where we will not have testimonies here. The vision must speak. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to command and say every force that will want to stop the vision from speaking, it will speak in your own life. It will speak. If truly God has called us, something should come upon your life that you will become a of the vision. Lift your voice and pray for Ian. Lord, we step in into this of glory, into this apostolic, evangelical, and prophetic season. Come on, pray. Pray for Ionia. of the ministry our school of ministry god is raising mighty mighty men of power in all spheres not just ministry you're going to pray for our students you're going to pray for the missions hallelujah you're going to pray for koinonia you're going to pray for all of the things that we are doing you're going to say lord not one sick body will come and not be healed not one oppressed person you are going to pray for grace to stand criticism grace to stand persecution grace to remain faithful grace to remain faithful grace to remain humble I want to do something prophetic this night. Hallelujah. One of the things God has given us 
is the spirit of dominion. You know what dominion is? Dominion means to legislate the counsel of God in any sphere, Satan notwithstanding. And among the many things that will happen to you tonight, I'm going to pray for you that everything we stand for, your life must represent it. See, if you do not represent what we stand for, we are fake. It means we are lying. It means we are faking power somewhere. If we are healing the sick, you should heal the sick. You must not be in ministry. If we are humble and you are arrogant, there is something wrong with the transference of spirits. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. I want you to believe, my brothers. Believe. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Please be careful with the fans. Father, you didn't send us to waste people's time. You didn't send us to be noisemakers. My God, I am praying this night. Every power, every force against any area of your life, this night, if I be sent as a servant of God, if God has ordained us as one of these carpenters, I pray right now, those powers bow. 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 Every power hindering your marriage in this place. Hear me. Or the marriage of your loved ones. This night, I release you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everything stopping your breakthrough. Breakthrough. As surely as the God of heaven lives. Between this night and next Friday, I command unbelievable breakthrough. Amen. Receive it. Receive it. I invoke it from the heavens with the backing of Elohim. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. Every close heaven in this place, whether it's as a result of non tithing or mistakes or whatever i don't care what is responsible every heaven that is closed in this place right now this night i pray let the heavens be open over you let the heavens be open over you let the heavens be open over you Hallelujah. This month, there are three things I'm speaking into your life now. Listen. Number one is authentic unction. Listen. Number two is favor that you cannot imagine. Listen. Number three is honor. Receive these three fold blessings. Receive it. Power, power to heal the sick, Amen. power to cast out devils. Hear me in the name that is above all names. Whatever bows to us here, let it bow to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever answers to us, let it answer to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I want to pray for your family. Hear me, enough is enough this night. Lift your hands. Super. Super. Your families will never believe you or the God you serve until there is an evidence. I pray, my God, that evidence of breakthrough that will compel families to know that you are at work. Let there be a release now. Let there be a release now. Let the angel of the Lord go across every state, every city. I instruct it. Every city. Saria, Abuja, Lagos, Calabar, Kodiste, Jos, angels, in the name of Jesus, go and confirm breakthroughs. Go and confirm breakthroughs. Go and confirm breakthroughs. Give testimonies. 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 So that they will know that your God is alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is instructing me to do something dangerous. Please take off your shoes and stand on your feet. This is not diabolic, please. Don't go and start criticizing us and talking nonsense. Listen, something will come upon your life this night. Please listen. Listen. I don't do stupid things just because people are doing I don't have money. The Bible says, hear me. It says, anywhere the sole of your feet treads upon, it has been given to you. I want to pray, hear me. Many of you do not know the mystery of what is happening, but I want you to believe. You will be amazed. Because I see an angel of the Lord, pure red from head to toe. Never seen, listen, I've never seen this angel of the Lord. And this is what he was telling me. That there is an impartation and a transference. Hear me. The influence we enjoy as a ministry is not a mistake. Are you hearing me? God has honored us and taken us to where we cannot merit. I want it to come upon your life this night. Lift your hands. Many of you will receive mighty impartations. Hear me. You will see things answering. See, your Christianity will have results. Father, I stand as your servant tonight under the instruction that you have given me my god there is a spirit upon this ministry an operation of the holy ghost the operation of dominion and inexplainable influence at the count of three my god let every feet upon this ground receive that anointing and demonstrate it practically Thank you, Father. One, two, three. Receive it. Take 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 it. Receive it. The spirit of dominion. The action of kingdom influence. Let the crowd open up for you. Let the crowd open up for you. Let 
Hallelujah. One more prayer. God has given us inexplainable kingdom wealth and prosperity. Please lift your hands. You need it. I honestly want to pray from my heart that your financial heavens will be open in a way and I'm going to pray my God and my king I pray in the name that is above all names you have called and you have sent me Lord if I be your servant at the count of three let an unction of inexplainable wealth let it come upon your people at the count of three one, two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. A mantle of prosperity, a mantle of wealth, a mantle of finance. Do, do mighty things for the kingdom. the hungry, to clothe the poor, to wipe the tears from your family. Let this anointing bring you ideas. Let it bring you opportunities. Put back your shoes. Thank you, Jesus. Give him thanks. Yes, I see a mighty open heavens, mighty, mighty open heavens Jesus we give you thanks Jesus we give you thanks you have not called the seed of Jacob to seek you again give him thanks I assure you as surely as the Lord lives your testimonies begin right now Anyone under the sound of my voice who is sick in your body, whether blood disease, fibroid, lump in your breast, in the name that is above all names, we change genotypes now. SS be changed to AA now. AS be changed to AA now. My grain headaches go in the name of Jesus. Demonic manifestations go now in the name of Jesus. Lump in the breast disappear now. Appendicitis go now. Every kind of infirmity, if it has a name, I command it to bow now. You will return with testimonies. HIV be healed now. Every dead virus, every virus that brings death in your body, I curse it, it dies now. Hepatitis A, B, and C go forever now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hear me. I want to give some people an opportunity right now to make a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. The number one vision that we have, please keep standing. Don't sit down yet. Please, please. I know you've tried. We need to make this great call. 
the Bible says, And they that be wise shall shine like the firmaments of the heavens, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars even forevermore. I want to give you an opportunity right now. There are many of you, some of you are coming for the first time, some of you have been coming, but you have never made a genuine decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, it all starts with a decision to come back home. We do not condemn you. It doesn't matter what you have done. Some of you have given your heart to the Lord, but you have found yourself derailing in a path that is not of God. Right now, it's our joy to welcome you home and for you to start an authentic Christian journey that will produce results. God desires to make you an ambassador. Some of you, your coming out is going to begin to be the beginning of salvation in your family. Right now, while everybody is standing, I want you to leave your seat and begin to come right now. Those who need to rededicate their hearts and those who are giving their lives. Don't wait for anybody to come. You are the first to come. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Come and stand. God bless you. Young, old, come and stand. Don't be emotional about it. This is a very serious decision. God bless you. Come from everywhere. Outside, inside. Please, don't let the devil take advantage of your life. Don't let the devil take advantage of your life. God is giving you an opportunity to make a lasting decision. Leave your seat. Don't allow your friend or your family member come and stop you. Thank you, Jesus. If you are still coming, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Don't let the devil tell you it's too late. Keep coming. Keep coming. Tonight is the night for an authentic decision. Tonight is the night for an authentic decision. Don't be afraid of anybody. Don't be ashamed of anybody. Hallelujah. The Bible says, as many who come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Some of you are making a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ for the first time. Some of you are born again. You love God but you found yourself derailing and you want to mean business with God tonight. It doesn't matter which of the groups. I want to welcome you. We're a family here. We love you. We believe in your future and what God has to do in your life. Hallelujah. God brought you here because he wants to give you a new beginning. Lift your right hand and say this prayer after me from the depths of your heart. It's not a special number. Mean it from your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. And I come before you tonight, unable to help myself. I have heard your word, and this night, I make Jesus Lord of my life. Forgive me my sins. I receive remission of sins. I receive eternal life into my spirit. From today, I'm saved. I'm a child of God. Holy Spirit, come and fill me. Build me. Make me an ambassador for the kingdom. Empower me to live the victorious Christian life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I salute you for making this great decision. This is the greatest miracle that has happened in this place. Now you'll be having a word with Pastor Jakes. He's going to be meeting with you personally. He'll be following you up. Please and please, as much as possible, I want you to be part of... I want you to be part of this and make sure that you show up Wednesday by 4. Please, tomorrow by 4, you have a meeting with Pastor Jakes. The venue is at the Chapel of Redemption, just the book stand closed. Please, those of you who invited them, remind them and let them come. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord increase you. The Lord bless you. Please follow the ushers. They will have your details. God bless you. Appreciate them. Just follow the ushers. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. In a few minutes, we'll be out of here. This is your first time of worshiping with us in Koinonia. We love you. We appreciate you. We celebrate you. We want to honor you. Please, I'd like you to leave your seat and come out gloriously and honorably. We want to pray for you. God bless you. Please leave your seat wherever you are, inside or outside. If there's a new person who is sitting, push the person and tell him, I love you too much. I love you too much. 
Hallelujah. Keep clapping, Koinonia. This is not your best. Thank you. The Lord brought them. For those of you who have made it a point of duty to invite people to get blessed, may the Lord invite your destiny helpers into your life again and again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. We celebrate you. The Lord honor and increase you. Hallelujah. This is Koinonia, a meeting put together by Eternity Network International. I believe you are blessed tonight. You will go back with unending testimonies. You will be amazed. Hallelujah. I pray that the Lord will bless you. We want to pray and prophesy into your life. We are anointed people. And whatever we call you, you become. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Saints of God, stretch your hands and speak those words. You are anointed. Every word you speak. The Bible says, whatsoever name Adam called them, that was the name they were. Go ahead and prophesy. Declare. We call you blessed. We bless you with a hunger for the spirit. We bless you with a hunger for prayer and the word of God. We pray that the Lord will equip you and make you a giant in the spirit. Every habit, every thing that does not represent Christ in your life leaves you right now. You return as a sign and a wonder. Things will begin to fall in their place in your life. You will become a testimony even to yourself. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Hallelujah. Thank you once again. We love you. We honor you. Please just follow the ushers. They will greet you more warmly on our behalf. And they will give you a few information. God bless you. Please just turn back. You have the ushers. Bless you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The face of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.